Hello everyone, and on this video I'm going to review or give my own opinion or show you guys how to install or get Windows 8, I believe is the customer preview version. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm doing all this with um, VMware Workstation, version 8 I believe is what I have. Yep. Um, I have a Windows 7 machine and there's different ways to do this um, the way that I did it was I actually went into the customer preview uh, web page downloaded the uh, exe and let that do its magic uh, I did try to install it with the ISO that was an epic failure I even tried importing the ISO um, into MDT 2012 uh, I created a media boot image and I inserted the ISO from the media image and I booted that from and that was epic fail um, every time that I booted into the ISO or from the MDT stuff it just basically gave me an error of I believe serial number something was going on with the serial number so I was I, I went back and I tried the basic non techie way and the web page if you don't know the web page uh, you can go to my blog which is BJ tech news dot wordpress dot com uh, BJ is my son's name and go to the Windows 8 and gives you a nice little rundown of what's going on I got I gave you the link and also the link for the ISO uh, I clicked on the link print the link uh, you could enter your email and they would you know they would send you like a bunch of tips and news and offers and all that stuff you could do that if you want I went straight to the Windows uh, 8 customer preview download when you click on that, uh, you get this option. You can either run it or save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. It's about five megs. So depending on your speed, it should be fast. Uh, for me this morning, it's pretty quick. I don't have too many people in, on my wireless this morning. So it should be pretty fast. So once that's completed, You got this nice little icon or exe file on your desktop or your download folder wherever you dropped it uh, for me I just put it on the desktop you double click on it hit run see a nice little Windows 8 customer preview logo on the middle it's basically checking apps and devices once it checks apps and devices it's going to confirm that um, you're able to you know um, install Windows 8 on your machine I'm not going to completely have this video run for three four five hours because that's how long it normally take it, it took for Windows 8 to actually be installed in this virtual machine so when it gets to the point that I have to install I'm just going to show you some snapshots or some pictures that I took um, I, I went to next again is getting a few things ready it's getting a product key um, so that's good uh, the product key it looks like it gets regenerated because when I first did it um, the product key was different hit next now is downloading Windows 8 custom preview this is the portion right here that takes forever I mean forever last night when I started this um, this process it actually said about three to four hours right now it's pretty pretty fast I think because I don't have anyone on my wireless so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause this guy I'm gonna close this All right don't get mad um, I'm gonna open up this 
and this is what you get once all that stuff is completed and you got a hundred percent the next window yet that you're gonna see is the ready to install windows a customer preview you get three options if you have a partition you could do the install on another partition if not you install the later install later basically um, on the desktop you get another icon uh, Windows 8 icon that you can basically double click on it and restart the installation if not you can just do the install now for my case I did install now once you do the install now it gives you a nice little prompt it looks like it's doing more stuff behind the scenes it tells you hold on while we get a few things ready after that you will see the license and terms uh, again accept the license and terms hit accept and then you get this window what do you want to keep in windows a customer preview now if you have a lot of programs like in my case i didn't really have too much on it the only thing that i had was like uh, i believe microsoft sql manage it uh, management studio that's the only thing i had so i didn't have word or anything like that so i i, I kept the default which is a windows settings personal files and that uh, up to you which preference you want but because this is a test don't really care so I just left the, uh, I just left the default uh, hit next check it for anything you have to do first again that takes a while once that happens you get to this window ready to install before you install Windows 8 customer preview make sure to save your files and choose any apps and close any apps uh, you won't be able to use your PC after you click install, which is true. It basically puts your computer in halt until it's done. You hit install. You get this. This is going to be here for a while. Again, I left this overnight, and it, it took it took a while because if you're doing the, if you're doing the process of what I just did, um. It's pulling the Windows 8 image through the internet and installing it. So everything is done through the internet. Um, I think the Microsoft is trying to do everything on the cloud. And uh, no CDs. You don't need to burn anything. You can do everything on the internet. Once that's completed, you get another screen. Um, so when you get to this screen, it's basically you're almost there. So you're able to personalize your the view of your Windows 8. Once you do that, you hit next. You have this guy right here, settings, you read blah 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 blah. I didn't even bother to look at the customize, but if you guys do do customize, you know, shoot me up um, a comment or something, and just let me know what customize is and uh, let me know what's your experience on that. Uh, I basically went with the default and used express settings, straight to the point. Once that's done, you see a nice finalizing your settings, which that's always a good thing. Once you're completed, you get this, which is pretty awesome. And this is where I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually go back in time, right click on this guy. I'm going to go to my snapshot, snapshot manager, and I'm going to go to my Windows 8 stable. So I'm going to go to that so I can show you guys how everything looks so hopefully everything works out all right so it's restoring the virtual machine states I'm crossing my fingers hopefully this works I did not test this out before doing this video come on So I took a snapshot while I was on the desktop. So, but I want to show you guys how the login stuff looks like because I think it's pretty cool. Taking some time. There you go. I got some control of that. I'm just gonna do a reboot of the virtual machine. Restart. Yes, please.
for Windows 8. I don't know what's going on with Windows 8, but they have like a fish <laughs> for their, I don't know, mascot. They're probably trying to be like Apple and use like, you know how Apple uses the lion and the snow leopard and all that stuff. So I don't know what to deal with this, this little fish thing. I know um, pretty soon that's going to be hackable and people are going to be changing that to what they want. So that'd be cool to see how that could be done. There you go, that sounds like a familiar sound. So, when you finalize and you finish everything, this is what you're gonna get. So the first thing I did was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it looks cool and everything, you know, my screen is not touch screen. That's one thing. Um, from my understanding, Windows 8 was built for a multi-touch device. You know, like a tablet or um, those laptops, those tablet laptops that you're touch screen. Um, I know I have a couple of machines in my job, which is the Vetro 330s. Some some of those models on the Dell side are actually touch screen. So Windows 8 would be perfect for that machine. Um, so I clicked, click on the mouse, and I just went up. Bam. That's it. It's pretty cool. The interface looks looks really nice. This is your power button. This way you shut down and restart. Uh, it automatically tells you any warnings from the from the from the get go. So like I didn't push any Windows updates. So there's a bunch of updates that I need to push out. Um, because I upgraded my Windows 7 machine to Windows 8. It's the same password as my administrator, which is password. You don't really care about it. It's just a, a lab. It's not really like a physical production machine. It's a dev machine. So who cares if you guys know the password? Um, once you log in, you log into this. The first thing that came in my mind, where the hell is the desktop? Um, even though there's an icon called desktop, but it's really weird because, it's, I don't know, it's just the whole thing is like a, it's like an iPad. It's like a tablet with all these icons. You know, you, you're able to go to the desktop that's cool but once you get to the desktop you're very you're very very limited like where's my my computer where's my start you know where's all that stuff at um, it's really rare um, some of the things are still the same like you know when you right click you got personalized screen you know I'm, I'm a personalized this guy I don't really like that fish they don't really give you too many choices um, I'm gonna go back brown, I wanna go to solid colors, and I'm gonna go my favorite color, black. Bam, so that's completely done. They give you these, it's like the borders, like it's like crazy, it's really weird. I mean, it's just weird. All this stuff is just weird to me. All right. You know, um, so how to get to the start menu? So every keyboard has a start Windows start um, key. So once you click on that, you get back to here. So this is basically the start menu. Uh, also, figure it out. My mouse. Um, if you put your mouse over here and you click on it, it actually gets a zoom. And I don't really know what this hell, what the hell this does. It'd be cool to figure out what this does. Um, you got the Windows Explorer here, which takes you to this. This looks pretty cool. What I did notice with the Explorer is that they actually put the file home and share and view stuff on Windows 8 back. Like on Windows 7, that stuff was hidden. Um, so if I go to my, you know, my machine that's running Virtual Machine Workstation, if I go here, as you can see the difference, they kind of hit it, so you, you actually have to press the Alt command to get it. But they kind of fixed the tab, 
to look a little sleek and more part of the design of Windows 8. Um, they also brought in the whole, I believe it was Office 2007, or I know Office 2010 has it, but the whole tab feature with the ribbon, I think they're trying to bring that into the Explorer. I know I've, with my IT experience, I know I've dealt with a lot of users that did not appreciate the ribbon stuff when we upgraded them to 2003 to 2007 I believe that's when the whole ribbon came up along uh, a lot of people weren't really comfortable with it um, hitting the start menu again got a couple of things here I know remote desktop and what else there's a couple of things that do not work with an administrator which I found really strange like remote desktop gives you this nice little error this app can, can't open Remote desktop can't open using the built-in administrative account. Okay, that's weird. Um, it looks like I don't know if this stuff is customizable. Um, I'll probably continue playing around with it and see if it is, and do another video. That'd be cool. If you do take your mouse over to the left, right, uh, right-hand side, you get to the upper right corner. I mean and you highlight you get these little menus which is like settings devices start sharing and search when I clicked on search I saw that it has a cool nice search feature it looks like it has all the all the apps that you would normally recognize which is pretty cool um, it looks like this right here is a, this is my start menu and it kind of categorize everything by folder which is it's it's okay it's pretty neat I don't know how big or how popular Windows 8 is going to be but again uh, Windows 8 becomes f full blown meaning that it's it's approved from Microsoft Bill Gates says hey okay every machine that's go out in the market it's going to have Windows 8 that's what we're going to have when we purchase a new PC Windows 8 so it'd be interesting with all the problems that it's going to have you never know, every Windows OS that's come out so far has been hackable. So it'd be interesting what kind of things you could do with Windows 8 behind the scenes. <laughs> so if you guys try this out and have, um, you know, have your own opinion on Windows 8, you know, hook, you know, uh, shoot me. You know, comment on my video, shoot me your, your two cents, and I'm, I'm interested to know what other people, um, other people experiences with Windows 8 and what you think. Um, do you think it's going to be like something that's going to be like uh, everyone's going to love and enjoy? Because, you know, again, Apple Apple's top number one on the market now with their new iPad third generation coming out, plus they got Mountain Lion coming out, so... I don't know, it'd be interesting. Alright guys, so hope you enjoy the video and um, thank you.